there's going to be, I don't know if there's much we can do about it or if they have like a tarp or something that they could put up over the uh, thing. Oh. Se seems like they're going to start, they're going to play anyway. Not, not the most ideal thing ever, but got to do what you got to do. Um, I know Madison a little bit worried about going into um, this set in particular. Um, OJ just has the, the positive win record here. Um, I don't think Madison has had many set wins against OJ in a really long time. Um, OJ just also, you know, really improving in his game over like the past like six months to a year. Um, mentioned earlier that he won the Arcadian, the previous Arcadian, uh, about a month or two back. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a, a, an uphill battle here for Madison, but if there's anybody that can do it, it is, uh, it is her. Absolutely. And now, with, with the lighting situation, do you think John Lyon has anything to do with this? Do I think that John Lyon has anything to do with the lighting situation? Just as, like, in the favor of OJ, who, who was there when the word of John Lyon starts spreading. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe John Lyon is uh, maybe John send, Lyon sending in a sending in a light here for uh, for OJ. Maybe John Lyon has to. Wow, Madison doing a really good job at catching OJ. I will say the percentages have been pretty much the same, kind of back and forth this entire uh, game. But um, oh my gosh, Madison running right off for that down air, trying to make a really uh, risky play. Uh, didn't pay off, but she's not quite dead for it yet. So. Can't hurt what you don't give. <laughs> exactly. Like both players' advantage states are very strong, so like we could see stocks be closed out very early. Yeah. OJ kind of playing around with that banana. Uh, Madison kind of just holding shield, knowing that OJ is not gonna be able to get any kind of like grab kill at this percentage uh, from center stage. So as long as Madison continues to like hold on to that center stage, continue to play her neutral, we could really see this damage rack up uh, in her favor. Not gonna kill quite yeah, even at like 140 there before the throw. Fighting off of like Madison finding an opening, gets grabbed, tries for a force smash to close off the stock, but OJ gets to grabbing him for a back throw. A good bit of extra credit there for Madison. Um, if there's anything that we know about Mario, though, is that if he decides to get a down throw up there underneath these platforms, we could see a really good extension that could even up these percentages just like that. And it's like very favorable situation for Madison because like when Madison did it, realizes that she's up, like she knows that like it's on OJ to make a move, right? And not to like not to like overextend trying to find some op find offense because OJ will punish you for doing so. Right, and that's kind of like the character archetype too, is that when you have um, Madison, I mean, did he banana forward smash? Banana forward smash, banana forward smash, the Madison classic. Um, but yeah, as far as like these characters go, like Diddy Kong can be super aggressive, but Madison is the one Diddy Kong that I know that will play super patient. She will time you out. She will wait for you to make the mistake. So her having the lead is always gonna be super beneficial because now OJ has to play in Madison Turner's game. Like OJ has to play like this game of chicken where like the cost is his stop. Ooh, jab lock into that F smash there from OJ Waddler. to <laughs> wipe out that stock at like 60 or 70%. But now OJ in triple digits. And she said, here's an F smash right back. Here's my banana F smash, if you will. <laughs> Someone needs to ban that. Someone needs to ban the banana F smash. <laughs> Someone needs to ban banana F smash. But yeah, good stuff there from Madison. Um, I feel like OJ really, really struggled to get some like combos started. He wasn't really getting these long uh, strings that we know him for. Yes. And as far as it comes to just playing solid neutral, I mean, Banana Diddy Kong is gonna be one of the greatest neutral weapons in this game. OJ was looking comfortable until he had to, until he had to close up the stock. Right. And like, at, at that point, Mario finding stray kills when the opponent's not really interacting is kind of difficult. 
Like, he's not going to find, like, the third up smash in order. Yeah. And, and, you know, Madison knew, too, to play it safe. Like, obviously, those throws were not going to kill. So as long as Madison sat in shield and made sure that she wasn't getting a, you know, shield poked or something like that, she was fine holding center stage. Like, in the words of Baron, like, she's playing OJ like he's a wild animal. And it's working. <laughs> And we're kind of seeing the same thing that we saw at the start of game one. Oh, oh my doubter. god! The, the banana didn't even connect, but Madison knew that and still went for it anyways and decided to go slightly more on the outside to catch where OJ was trying to recover away from the banana. Very smart play. Yeah, this is looking really, really good here for Madison. Both players looking for some neutral wins, and here we go. OG getting in with an air. How is he going to convert? Now having Banana in hand, too. Presses Z drop onto the shield, doesn't get anything for it. Yeah, I mean, the good thing here for Madison is it's kind of the same thing as usual. As long as she's playing a really safe neutral here at the center of the stage, Unless she gets hit by a big move, she's not going to die. She can't die by the grab here at center stage. OJ's going to have to find these kills at the ledge. Back throw going to be able to do it. Now, we are on Hall of Bastion, and Mario's starting to get to that rage percent where, like, up air strings are going to start being very scary. Yeah, but Madison... Uh, Knowing what OJ is looking for, not opening, uh, not wanting to open herself up to committal options. She's waiting for OJ to make mistakes here. Good start up from OJ. Not able to extend that though. Madison back with banana in hand. OJ waiting for an option out of Madison, slowly racking up that percent. Nothing really true there. He was getting maybe one or two hits and then waiting for an option, and just like that, like percentages have lined back up again. Now this is big for OJ if he can close up the stock first. And that's the thing too, is Mario gonna have more of that kill power than Diddy Kong does? I, I mean, Madison's gonna have to try to find a setup with it. As far as raw power is concerned, as OJ as definitely going to have the upper hand. As far as raw power is concerned, o OJ, Mario has that. Except, like, Diddy Kong's options are <laughs> with the peril. Oh, my gosh. She knew that she couldn't recover back from there, and she said, here's the barrels. Take this. Like, doing what she's most known for. Insane barrel conversions. OJ looking for a tech chase, but unable to find a grab or a startup there on the platform. If he had, I do think that could have set up for a kill confirm up from the platform. Uh, oh, the F smash again! Oh, but gonna be able to jump away! You know, Madison's only at 88% here, so there is room to work with. Um, if she finds, like, two neutral wins, we could really set up here for a kill. And time still is on her side to play patiently. Yeah, it's not like we're really entering any kind of timeout zone. Nope. Madison looking for a really uh, committal option there. Wow. Oh, gets the right DI. OJ doing his best to have made that ambiguous. <gasps> oh my gosh! He no, not going to kill quite yet. Going to use that pop gun. Oh, my okay, okay. gosh. What a great up smash there from OJ. OJ I mean, can't make his head in the game. Yeah, yeah. Literally. So crazy there. It almost looked like Madison had it. That conversion that she had got off the platform, just grabbing the banana, instantly throwing into the S smash, it truly did look like Madison had sealed that stock there in that moment. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're getting a little fist bump here going into game three. Lots of respect coming out from both of these players. Uh, Madison looks like she knows. She's thinking about what she wants to do. She knows how she needs to win. OJ, OJ looking at us. OJ giving the commentators a little funny face like, oh. 
Who knows? Look at how close that was. I almost lost that game, he says with his eyes. Like, I think OJ is one of the most expressive players, like, in the scene. <laughs> you just have to go life. look at the Arcadian photos from yes. the street. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, going back to PS2 here, I do like this pick from Madison just because um, she's able, the, the, the way the platform layout is when she's recovering back to the platform, it's not like Mario can cover one central portion of the stage. He kind of has to make a decision about what he's going to cover. That said, you know what they say, don't take Mario to PS2. And that should be the death. reason why yeah. right there. Yeah, gonna find that grab there on the platform, and as soon as I saw that grab come out, unless OJ messed up his control, that was a sealed stock. Madison pulling the banana, even though she had a tech chase situation there on the platform, maybe wanting to just have banana out um, to go back to a strong neutral position. And there we go, there go. another uh, banana S smash from Madison. Reading the Forbidden Scrolls for that one. Good down air there from OJ, getting a combo starter. Now this stock could be the most important stock of the entire set. Yeah, I mean, the whole reason that game one was so good for Madison is she got the super early lead. So OJ had to be the one who made the committal option um, to try to make up that percentage difference. Um, so if Madison's able to take the stock here, we will see a more patient playstyle coming out of Madison. However, if this kills, which it did not, um, if OJ finds the stock first, we're gonna have to see Madison make some more um, some more risky plays uh, to try to seal out stocks, and that's just gonna lend itself to uh, OJ's favor. Especially since OJ is starting to look way more at home here on PS2. Like, we're seeing a lot more of those up-air conversions, a lot of down-air on, like, DI mix-ups that Madison has been getting right and living off of. Yeah, that's the big thing, um, too. For oh, oh, my gosh! Uh, I don't know if that was supposed to be a pivot grab or not. Um, and maybe, maybe it was, like, a snapback or something there with a controller. But um, that's the one thing, too, that has been going on here in this game. Good down-air there for Madison is that OJ has really been able to find these combo strings that he wasn't getting in game one. Okay, Madison finding an opening with Banana. Good combo starter, a quick 34%. This is where Madison needs to make the most of what she has. Um, if she can get OJ up to like that 70, 80% range before she loses this stock, she's gonna set herself in a good position to try to get that kill uh, earlier than Oh my gosh! Just the banana out. and the up smash kind of like trading there in that moment. And catching the monkey flip too, like OJ just went for it. Now this is going to be a pretty dangerous position um, just for Madison. So she's going to have to find this percentage here early. But if OJ gets a combo starter, that it could be a, just a true zero to death, you know? Good jab there from OJ, trying to break up that shield pressure from Madison from tossing the banana. A banana forward smash, putting OJ in a very scary situation, but gets the throw. Oh. Oh, okay. So picking up banana there actually kind of messed up his combo route because he couldn't throw out an aerial. He had to, he was kind of forced to throw banana. I'm definitely not an intentional pickup. Yeah, this is gonna be a scary, oh my gosh, how did he get up that fast? Was he still in the air when that banana hit? Maybe. Yeah, this is so scary for both players because if, if Madison gets another like banana S smash at the ledge, it's game. If OJ finds like a banana like tech chase scenario into that F smash, it's over at any percentage on this stage now. Yeah, OJ retreat two platforms from off stage, just avoiding being on ledge in general. And now it's Madison's at ledge now. OJ with banana in hand. Oh. 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 I, that could definitely could have been it there. If Madison would have just tossed the banana into F smash, it was over. Oh, oh. preemptive F smash there. Uh, I think we need to go. Oh. Man, uh, really unfortunate there for Madison. I kind of preemptively going for that S smash. I think if 
Uh, she maybe would have switched to trying to go for a little bit more monkey flips there towards the end. Obviously, OJ, nervous at this percentage, is going to want to shield a little bit more. Yeah, OJ was also like, just flat out scouting out the aggressive option off ledge, getting the up smash off a of banana. I kind of wanted him to forward smash there. It would have killed anyway. Yeah. But <laughs> OJ gave us a quick little look after that. Like, again, like, oh my like, god, he, I he almost know, lost that he again. He knows what he did. He knows what he did. He's, he, he's a little funny guy. He, he can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> he can't keep getting away. He can't keep getting away with this. Uh, but yeah, good stuff there to both of that players. Uh, that was a really fun set to watch, um, especially knowing with Madison having kind of that like losing record against